Yo, what is up everybody? Hopefully I'm live and hopefully y'all can hear me because you know how I struggle with this stuff sometimes, but I think we ought to be good to go. Got some new stuff set up, so I think we're as smooth as we've ever been before. What's up, Jeffrey, man? It's nice to see you on here for sure. Haven't chatted with you in a while, so I'm glad you're able to stop on. Christian, how's it going, my friends? And what is up, Gator? Gator, I see you on my friends list. I see you've been playing a little bit. What's up, Jared? Welcome to the stream tonight, everybody. Hey, so you all should know by now, but if not, if you're checking out the channel for the first time, this is David Pendleton, and I'm going to go through some Ultimate Golf. And what I've been trying to do is make sure that I don't get too far ahead of the game. Basically, I'm starting at the very beginner stages, and I'm working my way up. I'm not fast-forwarding through the game. Everything that I do, you're going to be able to see my progression right here on the YouTube channel. You can check out the playlist section. I have it neatly organized for Ultimate Golf. You can see where I first downloaded the game and up into my progression so far. So what have I done so far? We've played tour number one, we've maxed it out. We've played tour number two, maxed it out. And last week while I was in amateur division, I even played a tournament. What am I doing off stream? I'm grinding a little bit. I'm going through tour two. I'm winning chest uh, bags. I'm opening those up. I'm upgrading my clubs. I'm bringing all that kind of stuff to it, right? But you've already seen the tour two. So I haven't progressed to tour three yet. That's what I'm gonna do tonight. And I'm probably gonna play a tournament or two live with you all as well. I would love to hear from you in the chat. If you've downloaded the game, that's awesome. If you haven't downloaded it yet and you like this stream and you think like it's something that you would enjoy, please check out the description below. In the description is my personalized link to take you to download the game. I would be honored if you hit that link, if you download it and you give it a try. Okay, so let's hop into it. You see that I have a bag to collect right here. We're gonna go ahead and collect this free bag together. And then I'm also gonna show you one trick that I've been working on too, which I made one video dedicated to it. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my news section and check this out. Look at these rewards that we have right here. Those are all people who I've sent my link to. They've downloaded the game, they've put in my friend's code, and I'm gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bags to claim. Those are gonna be gold bags, and they're gonna have 500 cash in each bag. So we're about ready to snag $3,500 of in-game cash for free. Uh, this game is built on cash and it's definitely a rare commodity. So it's pretty exciting that I'm about ready to go snatch all this up for free, which is really cool. If you have not checked out the video on how to get all this cash for free, you gotta check it out. It's in my playlist section. I made it very easy for anybody to follow. It's step by step, and check this out. It's definitely working. So. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and drop that link in the description here right now. Well, I'm going to drop the link in the comments right now so you can save that. And, you know, obviously, like I said, if you haven't tried the game yet, but you want to give it a go in the description to this video is the link to the game. But let me drop the link to the uh, video to show you how to get all this cash for free. What's up, John? What's up, Kenneth? How's it going, guys? Thanks for stopping in. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up button and give the video a like. All right, give me one second, I'm dropping it right now. Okay, so in the comments, I just put the link to get all the cash for free. That's how you do it, that's a step-by-step -step tutorial. All right, let's go ahead and hop right into it. Let's start collecting all this stuff. Here we go, like I said, when you share your friend code, you're gonna get a bag just like this. We're gonna get a ton of cards, which is gonna be awesome to upgrade our clubs. And you saw that, look at this. Look at all of this for free. We got an awesome golf ball, we got 500 cash, we got 493 coins, and we get to do this six more times. And I'm telling you, if you haven't played the game yet, uh, the cash, the cash is so important in the game. Like that 500 cash right there, that's huge. I'll show you how huge it is in a second. And keep in mind, we're gonna get 3,500 bucks here for free, not to mention all these club cards and coins we're gonna get. After this, we're gonna go check out my golf bag. I'm gonna show you the clubs that I have and the clubs that I'm using right now. But also, when I hop into some tournament play, 
I'm going to show you some tips and tricks in the tournament that you may not be familiar with that I think is an awesome asset to the game. And I'll show you how to really get ahead of your opponents here, especially in the beginner phases. So, I mean, you see all this right here. I mean, it's just, we're getting so much stuff for free. It's really crazy. We got three more bags to go. I mean, that right there, that's the driver that you want. It's already to level five. The outlaw driver is awesome. You know, Jared talked about it on my very first stream. I think to, uh, to quote him, he said it was the ride or die uh, driver. And he's absolutely right because that thing is a beast. And you unlock it in tour number two. So obviously, if you're looking to uh, be patient and you want to grind along and what is a good tour to do so, uh, tour number two is a really good tour to do that because you could, you could kind of live there for a little bit like I have and really get that driver leveled up. But one of the keys to doing it fast is to use your cash to open up the golf bags, okay? And it starts at 16 cash to open up a golf bag. So instead of waiting three hours, you can just spend 16 cash and open it up and then you're just gonna get a bunch of cards and you're gonna progress through the game so fast. All right, now we'll open up this bag as well. Just one of the free bags, right? We should have one cooking in the hopper. So we got one ready in 43 minutes. All right, so that's step number one of what I'm doing tonight. Step number two is to go check out the store and see what's in there. And the one reason I want to show you the store is because like, if you want to know like how rare cash is, so keep in mind, we just picked up 3,500 bucks. Like if you weren't patient, and you wanted to go get 3,500 bucks right now, you would have to spend 19.99, that's US dollars for three grand, plus another five bucks for 500 to equal 3,500. So that would cost you $25. Spread the game, have people use your friends code in, you know, it's basically a referral system, that's all that it is, and then hopefully your friends will enjoy the game and grow into it as well, like I do. So that's tip and trick number one. So keep in mind, if you wanna know how to do that, I just dropped it in the comments section for everybody. Cool. All right, last thing before we hop into play is let's take a look at where the clubs are at and what I'm primarily using in my tour play. So I've got the Outlaw at a level five, I've got that Apollo at a level seven. Extraterrestrial there is uh, chilling at, uh, hey, what's up? Thank you so much uh, for subscribing to the channel. Chelsea, I hope I got that right. I got the Spectre as a short iron, the Hypnotics is my wedge, although I'm not completely sold on it. Uh, I've been testing it out. It's got a lot of backspin. I got to figure out the ball guideline on that club. Have a yellow jacket here for the rough iron, and then the sand wedge is the Sphinx. You know, hopefully I don't play in the sand too often, so hopefully I don't have to use that too much. All right, that's it. Let's get warmed up uh, in some tour play before I go and hop into a tournament. So. You know, tour number one, tour number two, maxed out on trophies. This is going to be my very first game hopping in and playing tour number three. So obviously don't judge me if I mess up on here because I have no idea what courses I'm getting into. But I'm going to do my best to pick up a couple wins along the way. And then we will hop into the tournaments. All right. Here we go. So I'll probably have a little bit of course familiar uh, with this because I think I've played this one in a tournament before. I'm still rocking the basic ball and tour play. I'll probably plan on doing that for a long time, you know, just so that I can make sure I save all my good balls for tournaments because on this game, we can go through quite a few balls in tournament play, especially if we're taking advantage of the replay system. The replays will get you too. Like I find myself replaying holes all the time because I'm super competitive. I want to try to knock out the best score possible. And you get a chance to basically get a mulligan and do over uh, the course. So that's kind of cool. Well, not really a mulligan because you can't like replay the same hole, but you have to restart from hole number one to try to improve your card, which is cool. Looks like we're just in a situation here we'll have to lay up.
Then obviously, if you've never checked out the game before, this is a little bit different than most finger golf games to where you and your opponent are playing at the same time, so it's simultaneous play. As you can see there, their ball is already on the green, so they're right next to the hole. They'll be putting in for a birdie, and we're probably going to go to a tiebreaker. Ooh, but that's a good way to get it started. We do drop the eagle. We do pick up a win here on tour number three for our first time playing it. So that's nice. Dropping the short range eagle for the victory. All right. So that's how I'm saying one thing you can do with your cash if I wanted to, I could go in here and open up this bag right now, which I'll do, to get that 16 cash right away and open up this bag. You see here we got some rough iron, we got some more coins, and then we're good to go. Cool. So let's play one more head-to-head -head tour number three game prior to hopping into a tournament and then we'll get this thing rolling. Right, here we go. So kind of a shorter par four here. A little skinny part of the fairway up here, so it'll probably be important to hit an ultimate shot to make sure we hit perfect. Which we do, so we should be good as far as the drive goes. I'm always knocking stuff down here on the desk too. All right, so now we take our second shot to pin. I'm a big backspin player. I think it gives us really good control when, you know, obviously we're aiming onto the green. Man, really close to that one as well here. All right, so we putting in for birdie. We will see if our opponent makes a shot. Also the day before Thanksgiving too, so we only have a few people on here. Uh, but hopefully, you know, you guys all have a great Thanksgiving. If people hop on and watch a little bit later, obviously hope you all have a great day tomorrow. Uh, big, big holiday here in the USA. So we're excited about that. Nothing like getting to eat food, have a couple drinks, and then watch some football. So that's going to be awesome. What's up, DDK? What do you mean you didn't notice this is a live video? It should say live right on the channel, my friend. All right, now let's get into this addictive tournament play. No, Gator, I mean, not really. Uh, it's not point and shoot. It's the same type of point and shoot uh, as in the early stages of other games like this that you're used to playing. But as our clubs develop, right, we're going to have better ball guidelines. Uh, as our clubs develop, I mean, there definitely is a wind and ring system that comes along with this game. There's an app out there that you can use to get your shots super accurate. I'm going to use it right now in the tournament. So even though, um, you know, I don't have the highest level clubs, I'm still going to try to mess around with the ring system here a little bit. I'm going to try to make some wind adjustments and see how close we can get. So let's see what this turkey shootout is all about. So it's 2,500 coins to get into. First prize is 180k. I mean, that's just massive. It's going to be a nine hole tournament, and we have 25 replays remaining. All right, let's go. We're going to go ahead and enter this. We're going to give this a shot and see what happens. Well, you know what, DDK? Thanks for checking me out, man. I appreciate you stopping in for sure. You got to hydrate before these tournaments. You know, it's important to stay loose. <laughs> All right. So here is the deal on tournaments. 
You're going to love tournament play if you're new to the game because look at this. I have no shot clock. I could sit here all day if I wanted to, and that's it. Like, you know, you don't have to worry about a shot clock. So that's one thing that's really awesome. It's going to give you time to analyze the course. You can kind of move around here and see what the layout looks like. And then secondly, um, you can kind of go through your ball selection, right? So here we're having a little bit of headwind. So for me, I only use these types of balls in tournaments. I always save my good balls for tournaments. If you've followed me for a long time, you already know that. But you play the game, whatever is fun uh, for you. But this is how I do it. So we have 6.7 mile per hour wind. You know, here there's not a whole lot. We're just kind of trying to aim a little bit right of the fairway. We'll use a little bit of left curl. We hit an ultimate shot. So we're going to land on the fairway, which is going to set us up here for shot number two. But you can see here, you know, there's a bunch of people playing at the same time as you. I don't know if you sent me this link before. I mean, if you did, I don't remember that. Now, the thing here with tournaments is the tiebreaker. The tiebreaker is super crucial. So and if you tie a score, let's say that, you know, nine holes and the top score is a minus 13. Let's say three people get a minus 13. The tiebreaker is set up in points. So you earn points by getting your shot as close to the pin as possible on every single hole as long as you're playing to beat the hole. So obviously a birdie on a par four is beating the hole. So as long as I land my ball on the green on my second shot, I'm gonna get tiebreaker points. The closer that I get to the pin, the more points that I get. And you want as many points as possible. Hey, what's up, Kevin? Thanks for stopping and saying hi, buddy. I hope you're well. All right, so we've got the ET club out. We've got six mile per hour wind. We're gonna back up a little bit because I'm not exactly sure you know, how, how fast this thing rolls. I use grids in tournaments on this game because it makes adjusting for wind easier as there's not really like a good landmark to adjust your rings on. So I just turn grids on my iPad as you can see. But we do wanna get that wind arrow blowing north Awesome, Kevin. Welcome to the game if you're a newbie. If you haven't downloaded it yet, please download it via the description link that I have on this video. All right, we need to remember that the extraterrestrial club, it rolls pretty far. So you see here I'm 33 feet away. That's pretty far. I'm only picking up 500 tiebreaker points. On par fours, I think if you get about 800 or more points, you're in really good situation. On the par fives, you can get up, you can get over 1,000 points by landing on the green in two shots. Now, the thing here is, this is only hole number one. So if I don't like how I do, I can just do a replay and I can play this hole over again. Since this is hole number one, no harm, no foul. Uh, yes, there is DDK. It's called Guide for Ultimate Clash. It is in the App Store. And it's what I'm using right now. But again, you know, you're going to have to, if you want to be super accurate, you're going to have to take notes on your clubs because we're in early stages of the game and we don't have like, you know, obviously a good ball guideline to rely on. Okay. So, you know, now we're on a par three and we're using that same club that just rolled super long on us last time. So we got to keep that in mind and see what we can do here. We're pulling the overpower there a little bit. But at least we hit an ultimate shot, so. We just wanna stick this one on the green, get a nice little roll. Yeah, see 731, that's closer. Only 14 feet away this time, so we earn more points. But after this hole, I'll show you some cool things you can do in the middle of a tournament game that I think you'll find helpful. 
So one of the things here you can do once you continue your round, you can see here, you can go through the standings if you want to, and you can kind of gauge what first place is going to be like. Oh, I accidentally hit someone else's scorecard. But you can see here we need to shoot a minus 11 in order to get ourselves in contention to win and at least have 6,500 tiebreaker points. That's not a very big tiebreaker score, so if we can get to a minus 11, which might be tough, we can probably pick up that tiebreaker score along the way. What's up, Cal? Thanks for all the videos and updates. Learned a lot from your guides. Hey, man, I really appreciate that. That's why I do it. So, you know, I'm glad that you find it helpful, and I'm really thankful for everybody who's a subscriber and, you know, always gives those thumbs up and comments on the channel. It really means a lot, and I appreciate it. Okay, so this is going to be a super long par 5, right? And we're not off to the greatest start. I mean, we did birdie both holes, so we birdied a par 4 and a par 3, which is fine. But... Um, you know, we don't have that great of tiebreaker points. So I'm just going to get a feel here for this hole. And I'm just going to play it with this ball and see what happens. But obviously we need to get distance on the drive to even try to get ourselves an opportunity to get to the green and two. But this looks like it might be a challenging one to get to the green and two on. So I did go full overpower and I shanked it great left. We'll see if I land on the fairway or not. Chances are slim. Okay. So I didn't. But I'm not too concerned about it because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use my replay. Hey, thanks, Mark. I appreciate it. So now I'm going to hit this pause button on the top left-hand side. And you can see here I'm going to restart my round for 100 cash. Also another reason why cash is huge in the game. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing, William? All right, so now that we did our restart, we're, we're just doing that. We're restarting the entire tournament over. You don't want to get too addicted to doing that because you could go through a lot of your golf balls and your cash by doing so. So we really want to get ourselves off to a better start this time. How you doing, Bono? I hope you're well, man. All right, so now I remember last time we were like 30 away from the pin. So we got to get closer this time. Last time it just took a real big bounce on us. So we'll see if this works out any better. Here we go. Man, we still rolled super far on hole number one. So we just have to remember this green rolls super fast. All right, the green rolls fast on number one. So if we have to do a replay again, we just got to keep that in mind. Grocery season? What do you mean? You work at a grocery store or you're just buying a bunch of groceries? You have me confused, William. Well, hopefully this shot works out better than the last time we played this hole. 
Yeah, we're going to get really good points here. You see 875 tiebreaker points. That's the way to do it. Oh, I see. Yeah, that'll definitely keep you busy, man, for sure. Dude, I could never drive anything like that for sure. I would be like trying to change lanes. I'd be just annihilating every single car uh, in my way for sure. I'm already not the best driver as it is. I can I can tell you that. I mean, I mean, heck, due to bad luck, I popped three tires in a course of two days, <laughs> two weeks ago. So, you know, it wasn't my fault, but still super aggravating. Okay, so this time we shanked, we shanked our drive last time. We're going to use a good ball here, being a very long par 5. We're going we're gonna to use one of the good balls. So we're going to go to ball swap. And let's see what we got in the bag. We got a lot of stuff. Two million miles you drove? Dude, that's nuts. So we need something with good wind resistance and we need something with great power. And this is why I like not having a shot clock in tournaments because it gives you the time to sit here and and really just kind of analyze what you want to do, you know. So you can just kind of go through each ball. Like look at that one. We just knocked the wind all the way down to four. So we're going to go ahead and go with that. We're going to push our target up since we have a more powerful ball. So don't forget to do that if you switch out to a better, more powerful ball. you got to push your target up because the game won't do it for you. Yeah, dude, that's a lot of trucking, man. Just like Jeffrey said, that's nuts. Okay, so this time we do fire off that ultimate shot. So we should be at least uh, you know, on the fairway and a little bit better range here. But we don't know what we're going to do on shot number two yet. One thing about this game is you can actually swap out your clubs. So you don't have to use what's in your bag. You can save your progress and then go to your golf bag in the main menu and use a different club if you think it'll do better for you. So... And that's exactly what we're going to do here. We need a club that's going to provide power plus top spin. And so we're going to save. We're going to save and exit. And then we're going to go check out our golf bag and see if we have a better club for shot number two. Because if we're able to make it to the green in two on that hole, I mean, that's going to be a huge, huge uh, shot. So we can look at the El Captain Club. Okay, so we can see we have more power. We have crap accuracy, so we're gonna have to hit an ultimate shot. We're gonna have to hit a perfect ball. We don't have a great shot view, which is your ball guideline. But we have a ton of top spin, which is what we're gonna need. So that's obviously gonna be the club that we're gonna use. So now we can go back into the tournament and check this out. Play golf, back into the tournament, back to the turkey shootout, back to continue, and this is literally going to take you right back to where you left off at. So, I mean, at the end of the day, that's a pretty sweet feature. And here we go again. So, nope, oh, I got to apply my spin. So this ball is a great ball for this hole because we have a ton of side spin. Man, this is going to be a really hard shot to get to the green. Um, I do think going to the left hand side here is best. But we're going to have to hit a smoking shot. So here we go. Let's just dive into it. Okay, well, we did hit ultimate after all that. So that's one step done. 
I just don't know if we can kick to the right and get enough topspin to get to the green. No, we're going to be in the rough, but that's okay. I mean, man, that's a hard shot. We tried our best, but we can still pick up points. Yeah, I don't have a lot of curl, Jeffrey. That's the draw fade. So I didn't have enough curl to get it there because, again, I mean, that club level is only a level one or level two. So, you know, we're still at the beginning stages of the game. Now, this club has a tendency to run fast sometimes. But we're still going to pick up 800 points. And we still pick up a birdie. So, you know, that, that's a tough par 5. I am not dunking the ball, DDK. I'm not even close to being able to do that. So that's a tough par 5. But we have to keep in mind that the number one score is only at a minus 11. So we still have two par fives available to try to pick up eagles on and close in on that score. Now this, not every course has three par fives on the front nine and back nine. Only some courses do. So keep that in mind that not every time like a negative 12 is out there. Well, it's always out there, but I think you guys know what I'm saying if you played games like this before. I find the putting pretty smooth on here, to be honest with you. Okay, now this is a really good ball. So, like, I don't want to use this ball again on a short par four. You know, I'm just going to use the spider ball. That's the situation we just need to lay up on the fairway. But I've done I've done pretty well in tournaments so far. We can kind of go through that too. It's so like if you click your little icon up here in the top right hand corner, it'll show you your statistics for the game, right? So uh, you can see here that you know lots of first place finishes, second place finishes, and then a couple other top tens along the way. It also shows you like your head-to-head -head winning percentage. That's for tour play only. It shows you how you've done in the Golf Royale, and then your longest drive and your longest putt made, and then your birdies and eagles, of course. So you have all your stats right there available for you. And we just need to get on the green so we pick up more points here. Which we do. We get a nice roll and we get really good tiebreaker points too. So that's pretty good right there as well. I think we got a par five coming up, right? Nope, par three, then a par five. So hopefully that par five we can get on the green, man. That'll be huge. All right, par three. Got to get on the green and hopefully close to the hole. These are timings pretty good so far. A lot of ultimate shots. 
would love to see it roll up a little bit until the left. I mean, yeah, we're going to take that all day for sure. 835 tiebreaker points. That's really good. Now, if we could just boost up our scorecard a little bit, we could get ourselves in contention for a gold banner and 180,000 coins. This par five is gonna be the test though. And the things with the par five too, Jeffrey, is there's no mercy if you drive the rough. I mean, it's just, you're not getting to the green in two. Okay, so you see here, this is the exact same hole that we had last time. It's the same hole we had last time, but this time we have Tailwind, which is gonna help. So we're gonna use that same ball. No, we're not, because that's gonna reduce the wind. So we, we want power, but we don't wanna reduce the wind. I think this is going to be our best ball here because we have plus three power, 50% side spin. Hey, what's up, Adam? How you doing, buddy? Thanks for stopping in. And, and we're not reducing the wind that much by using this ball. So remember, we push up, full top, we put our right side spin on, and, and we really got to launch one up the fairway here. So we're going to gamble with overpower. Yes. Okay, so we should get some good distance on this drive. Happy Thanksgiving, Adam. You, gotta, you guys got any good plans tomorrow? So we hit this one 300 basically, but we're still a mile away from the green. But, you know, look at this. We have nasty headwind this time. Ugh. All right, let's give it a shot. Oh, come on, top spin, roll, roll, roll. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, man. If we could have put that on the green, we could have definitely made the eagle, and we would have picked up a ton of points. Ah, oh, I cannot believe that. And then we're going to leave the chip in short. I'm struggling on chip ins too. Something I got to get used to. But I think we can still get to the minus 11. We're getting better at this hole. And if I wanted to get greedy, I could replay it too if I mess up a hole later on. But at this point, unless we mess up a hole, we're going to play the scorecard out and see what happens. But we really needed to pick that one up. I mean, getting to a minus 11 now is going to be a tall task. We're going to have to eagle two of the last three holes. Yeah, I can get you that, Adam. I can get you my friend's number, bud. I'll, uh, I'll text it over to you. Oh my gosh, I wasn't paying attention. I'm in the rough. No way. Okay, so this is, I did not even notice that. I don't know what I did wrong. That's what I get for reading chat. But see, the thing is we can, we can just restart. If you don't like your score, you can try again. You can do that in this tournament 25 times. 
So make sure you always read the rules before you hop into a tournament play. So here we go. Now we just continue to try again. But this is one thing that can make tournaments interesting for sure. Because even if you're in first place, you know, you're never secure because someone else could just try to replay it and beat your score. All right, so remember this hole, the green runs super duper fast. Then we're just we're gonna back it way up like this. We're gonna back it way up and see what happens. If I mess up, I can just restart. Ooh, that's a terrible shot. This is exactly what we're gonna do. So now we restart, you know, so. Well, William, that sounds like a good night, man. It sounds like you're about ready to, to settle in and have a great night for sure. All right, now I'm out of sync. I'm out of rhythm here, so we need to kind of shake off the dust. This is the pro and this is the cons of tournament play on Ultimate Golf is, you know, the pressure is not really there because you can always restart, but then you start to go through golf balls like I'm going through right now. Okay. I don't know what I did on that drive to rough. I don't know how I... Mess up that particular hole. All right, shot number one is good. Now we got to get shot number two down. Same thing. I'm going to try to back it up, use that back spin, use a little bit of side spin to the left. Hopefully we hit an ultimate shot and the ball bounces where we want it to go. All right, there we go. Ultimate shot. Let's see if we can get this thing any closer this time. We're still going to roll along. Stop. Goodness, that thing rolls a mile on this hole. We're 33 again. I mean, the only thing I can do is think about not even putting the end of that ball guy line on the green at all. All right. Here we go. One thing I have not done in the game yet is get a hole in one. I hit my first albatross the other day in the final round of a tournament, so that was great timing. We need to make this putt and we need to get that par five figured out upcoming. All right, putt's good. Now on to the tough hole here. Have to drive the fairway, and then we give ourselves a chance. Driving the fairway, that's where the pressure's at on this hole. 
I mean, ultimately, that should be the easy part, but you can't get there without that. All right, so we hit a full overpower ultimate shot. Would love to see some distance here, but we're dealing with headwind. That's gonna make it tougher, for sure. See, 268 last time we hit it almost 300. Now we're just a mile away from the hole. No chance on that side to get there. Yeah, really, really no chance at all to get there on shot number two. So we're going to have to try to get the points on shot number three. But the top spin obviously put me into the sand. And now we'll see what we can do. Ugh, that's a terrible shot. But it worked out. So, you know, no harm, no foul on that hole. We're still picking up the birdie as long as I make the putt. And we're going to have to hope that we get a tailwind angle when we get back to this hole in a few more holes. Yes, sir. I remember. All right, so come on now. We're pushing up in the overpower a little bit there. I just want to land on the green here. This is a little bit more difficult one. We got a great kick. We got an awesome roll, and we're gonna take that for sure. So, so somebody tell me in comments what your Thanksgiving plans are. Are you cooking at home? Are you going somewhere else? For us, we meet up as a family and we meet up at like a place to go eat at. Like there's a lodge here that does like a huge Thanksgiving feast. So we do that. All right, here we go. So par three, all I want to do is make it on the green, to be honest. That's it. Where are you from, DDK? Also, William, do all you do all the cooking, huh? You like to cook? I'm a terrible cook, so I cannot do that. 
Well, greetings all the way over there from Belgium, man. Very cool. It's always awesome having people, you know, stop in from various parts in the world to check out the stream. What time is it in Belgium? It's 6.22 in the afternoon here. We'll take this. This is a solid shot. Solid shot on the par 4. Now we're going to go ahead in that par 5. Okay. All right. Come on, par 5. All we need is an eagle. We just need an eagle, man. That'll get us kick started. Difficult wind. Difficult wind again. We're not getting any favors here. Oh man, yeah, that's super late. Well, I appreciate you stopping by, man. Make sure you hit that like button before you go, and hopefully you sleep well. All right, come on. Oh, a great shot to the right. Please just stay on the fairway. All I want is to stay on the fairway. Okay, we're on the fairway. Now we've got a little bit of tailwind, so come on now. Come on, everybody. Let's wheel this thing onto the green. Please. All right, we got to get super technical here. No shot clock. Come on, let's go. Oh, a great shot to the left. Come on, side spin. Come on, bail me out. Oh, my gosh. We're going to roll. Uh, William, I am using the ring system, man. Have you seen me moving my target around in my rings? Where'd my icon go? There it is. The eagle still eludes me. That was our best chance to get there. That was our absolute best chance to get it there. I'm not dunking it, man. I haven't tried to dunk yet. <laughs> I'm just taking the safe play. All right, we have three holes left to call this one a tournament. Let's not mess up a drive again. Let's just keep the ball on the fairway. Hey, Lindsay, what's going on? Thanks for stopping in. Yeah, I know, Jeffrey. I wasn't too happy with that. That was my best chance, and I blew it. I blew my best chance to pick up that eagle and a ton of points, man. 
I mean, that would have been that would have been huge. Eagle with the points. I mean, that would have been massive. But it is what it is. I'm just hoping to complete the round, and then if I want to off stream, I can try again later and chip away at it. But I probably won't. You know, right now I'm just having fun, uh, making sure that I get a good understanding of the game. Mm. I'm going to uh, save it, and I'm going to use a different wood club. I'm going to use that Apollo wood club. It's got great backspin. You know, one, I mean, again, you know, I'll say it, like another feature that I just love about this is that I can back out of a shot. Well, let's open this up too and then pick a different club that's going to suit best for the hole all the way from Australia is that correct that is awesome yeah you know I don't get on live too much because you know what I do for the other game um, doesn't suit live play for me when I give the detailed guides that's more about taking the shots, getting things dialed in, and then putting everything together for everybody. But definitely right now in a game like this, I mean, it's, it's primarily going to be live for me. Because it's fun, I get to talk to everybody as things go. And it just makes more sense for, you know, trying to build this game up and get some exposure on it for sure. What time is it in Australia? I said it before, that's like on our family's bucket list is to go to Australia and visit. Would absolutely love to do that for sure. All right. So, yeah, see, we got the backspin here. Love it. And we're just going to try to get this thing on the green. I really don't want to mess up this far into the tournament. Ten thirty AM, so it's already Thursday there, right? That's so weird to me, like it's Wednesday here, Thursday there. Sit. Nice. So that was the right club for that hole. You know, not the greatest on the tiebreaker points, but we just have to pick up the eagle and keep this thing moving. Jeffrey, what'd you do? Google it? Well, you know, you know, at least we're up in 15th place with a few holes to go. A par three here has got us on our driver. We don't want to do that. You know, we're just going to use the side spin here with our wood club. Oh, man, I just hope I stick this one on the green. That's all I want to do. You better stop. Sweet! I don't even know what you guys are talking about right now. Okay. What do you mean? What I miss? Oh, it's 10.30 a.m. Thursday here. Well, hey, you know, it's hard to play and read at the same time, you know. I never said I was that talented. And now we've got some minus 12s up there on the scorecard, too. Ah, oh, 
I mean, it's doable. You know, it's definitely doable, obviously, even with our clubs here. It's doable to get up there. I haven't even really busted out the best ball selection. I'll do it, man. I'll, I'll do it. You know, if you need it, if you need it and I got the time, I'll do it, William. Just reach out to me on Messenger. You know how to get a hold of me. I'm going to have free time available in uh, December. So December um, 1st through the 12th, I'll be off work. So I'll have the time to bust out the old three iPad grind again if I have to. All right. We got to uh, save and exit, and we got to go get our El Capitan Wood Club back for what should be the final couple shots of the turkey shootout. All right, let's get our club back. Yep. Let's look at the prizes real quick too. So I mean, remember it only costs us 2,500 coins to get in. So even if we got a 15th place, like we're still gonna win almost 60,000 coins and get a platinum bag. I would definitely love one of those diamond bags though. Yeah, man, those were the days when it made sense, but it's it almost doesn't make sense to do that anymore. Oh yeah, Jeffrey, you weren't there, buddy. Uh, I don't think we knew each other then, but back when I was trying to take my own clan to C100, man, we had turmoil, we had things going crazy in the middle of the season, dude. I had to put three accounts in my clan and bust out three iPads. I mean, just grind away all day. It was, it was intense, brother. You know what? No guts, no glory. We're going to have to let this ball rip. Yeah. It didn't stand a chance. Now can we get to the green <laughs> and just get on the green? Oh, I hate when I do that. There we go. All right, so we're gonna end up with the minus nine. Lots of room for improvement. Oh yeah, I still have the pictures of my three iPads that I was playing on. Mm -hmm. I had to borrow one from a friend. Well, we're in sixth place, okay? So, you know, if we hold sixth place, and I'll, I'll probably hop on later off stream and try to improve the card because now like it's really a challenge to get one of those par fives to drop. I think I can do it. But let's just, let's just be fun here and say that if we do finish in sixth place, we're gonna get 99,000 gold coins off a of 2,500 entry. I mean, that's a phenomenal return on our investment there. And we pick up a, uh, a platinum bag, right? With two epic clubs. You know, the only thing that's a little bit frustrating is I'm one place away from one of these diamond bags, which I would really like to get. But again, you know, that'll be time dependent and I'll see, uh, I'll see what I do. Okay, so that was that one. Let's take a look and see what the ultimate golf shootout here is. This one is, is only nine holes as well. Same thing, 25 replays. Take a look at the rewards. Uh, awesome rewards too. So that's probably something that I'll play off stream a little bit later as well.
But for now, let's go ahead and play a little bit more Tour 3 before I wrap up the session and call it a night. Turn off the grids because I don't use those in one-on-one -on -one play. I just point and shoot right now. That's really the best thing for me to do. Helps me get used to how my club rolls. And then I like to have the Apollo Wood Club in my bag for tour play. Did you hear the clubs are going really well so far? Let's play a little Tour 3 and see what happens. Please, if you're still on the stream, it would be awesome if you hit the thumbs up and give the video a like. Man, don't even get me started on that Rick guy. He about killed our whole, our whole push. All right, let's go. Holy cow, we might be able to. We might be able to drive the green here. Yeah. That's my first time ever driving the green in the game. So that's kind of cool. <laughs> and then I mess up the putt. How about that? Isn't that how it goes? Drive the green, mess up the putt. Oh, geez. Come on, Dave. You're better than that. You know, my opponent just went flying past the past the hole, though. All right, so now we're in for a birdie. We should have eagled it. I screwed that up. Now we watch our opponent. If our opponent makes this, we go to a tiebreaker. If they don't, well, you know the deal. We win. Oh, and they, they messed their putt up, too. So how lucky can I get? Yeah, you got that right. <laughs> Drive for show, putt for dough. I like that. Well, well, we'll we'll keep playing until we open up a pin bag. It looks like we only had three or four games until we open up a pin bag. So that's kind of cool. Let's go in here and free up a couple of slots here. So we'll go ahead and open up this gold bag right now for 36 cash. That's the bag that we just won. Look at that. We'll take that all day. That was worth it right there to get the outlaw club. That's a great ball to you, the Mojave. That's one of my favorite balls to use in tournament play. We'll open this one and we'll leave ourselves a couple slots open to fill. Spider ball is another good ball. That's my second favorite ball to use so far in tournament play. Now, obviously, as we move and we progress through the game, um, tournament wins will get higher, so we'll have to use some of the more better balls there, which is why I'm kind of reserving those for later parts of the game. Come on now, let's, let's get this thing going. Then I just use basic ball so far in tour play. I mean, that's all you need so far at the early stages of the game. And so what I'll do here is I'll play enough games to open up that pin bag, which I think was only three games away, and then I'll call it a night. Oh, stop it. Come on now. Are you serious? That thing was dead on. That's all right. We're in the hole for a birdie. Hmm. 
Now our opponent's in the hole, so now we will be heading to that tiebreaker. Too much backspin, Jeffrey. Got me. All right, I've never played this tiebreaker hole before. So we can see here very low wind. Sometimes I like to wait till the last second to see if my opponent goes to see how close I have to get. So they've already gone. So you see our opponent's already gone. They didn't make a very good shot. So we should pick up the win here. Oh yeah. Easy stuff, easy stuff. Okay, so we need two more birdies to pick up that pin bag and then we'll call it a night. Two more birdies, hopefully we can accomplish that in two more holes. And then maybe I'll go in there and shoot that red tournament as well later on tonight. Just really depends on what the family wants to do. Hey, what's up, Mike? Thanks for stopping in, man. You're catching the tail end of the stream, but it's never too late for sure. Even if you're watching it after the stream is over, it's never too late to come in, say hi in the comments, let me know how you're doing. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Hit the thumbs up button. And, and if you want to play the game and give it a go, please download it via the link in my description below. Ooh, I did not hit a good shot there. No point for me even to push this drive other than just being dumb. I got lucky. I avoided the sand, I avoided all the stuff there. No sir, not at all Mike, I just put out a video for them uh, this week. Put out a video Saturday, or, uh, Sunday my friend. Let's see if we can get onto the green here, be tough. Yep. Not with that shot, not with a great right. Gonna be in the trees on the rough. We're not picking up a birdie on this hole, and we'll probably be heading to another shootout. Yeah, Mike, I did some clan matches. I did uh, the putting challenge. I did the long drive. I failed those. All right. Oh, we did get a birdie. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, so we got the birdie. That's good. So that'll be one more closer to that pin bag. Now we got to try to win the tiebreaker. That's my strategy on this game. My strategy is to uh, let the time... I, I set up my shot, right? I set the shot up. I let the time wind down. and I, I wait for my opponent to go to see how close they get. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set my shot up where I want it to go. Okay. And then I'm going to wait for my opponent. My opponent's already gone. So you can see there, they're way up there by the rough. So now I'm just going to go and try to beat that. Uh, same ones, I'm in my DP chill and then my executioner's clan. One more game. So far, we're undefeated in tour number three, and I think so far in head-to-head -head play, I'm around, I'm somewhere around that 90% winning percentage, like 88, 89, somewhere in that zone on this game so far. And you can check all that out. You know, remember if you click your icon, it'll tell you 
what your winning percentage is, your stats, and all that kind of stuff. Ooh, I'm going to check out a Golf Royale while I'm on here too because I think we had a mission on there. So I might check that out as well. So stay tuned for a second. I just thought about that, actually. Man, look at this. This fairway is a mile wide. We can go full OP just for the heck of it because even if we just mess up, we should be able to land on this fairway no problem. Yeah, the 20th, man, that's super competitive. Um, you know, not something for me in in a casual game like that. I think my, my big time stuff like that, yeah. But I guess it, it depends on which 20th one you're in. But I don't take that game that serious to get that involved in what they do because they're crushing it, they're killing it. They have a very well-designed game plan around what they're doing. Man, look how hilly this green is. This is going to be a crazy putt. I've never played this hole before. First time. Oh, there it was. It was there. Where's the green at? Give me the green. Oh. All right. Got it. Center it up. Can we make a hard putt? Get in the hole. Get in the hole for the eagle on a crazy putt. We knocked that one in there. So we should be able to go home, claim rewards, pick up this one right here. Got another spider ball, gotta love it. Thank you, Mike, I appreciate it. Reach the second round in any Royale event. We gotta do that, we gotta do that right now. Mm, ah, they're, t they're too far away. I know nobody wants to sit here for 10 minutes and wait on that. So, you know, I'll do that later. Unless there's something else down here. Oh, there, never mind. They all start at the same time, so. Okay. Yeah, a little bit too long, but I'll knock out that challenge a little bit later on tonight. So if you haven't done uh, the Royale yet, those are a lot of fun. I mean, basically, it's just random shots are all over the course. You have a two-minute shot clock. You try to get the ball every time as close to the pin as possible, and you just rack up points along the way, and the standings move up and down as you go. It's just a fast-paced shoot as fast as you can, get as close to the pin as you want. Um, you know, it's really a lot of fun. Unfortunately, the next one starts in 10 minutes. We can take our big shot. At least we can roll the dice here. The big shot is equivalent to what you would think of as the... Um, what is it called? The golden thing. Oh. oh, you guys know what I'm talking about. I'm having a brain fart right now. Oh. Yes, thank you, Adam. The golden shot. I gotta plug in the computer. It says, it says my battery's getting low. But yeah, the golden shot, thank you. Except you can do the big shot every day on here. Just don't mess it up like I did. That's one of the first times I've never made it into the rings. So go figure. Jinxed. All right, we'll start that unlock process. We will, yeah. Let's go in there and see what place we're in. Yeah, we're in six. Still in six. I might have to try to improve that later. Well, hey, you know what? That's it. I'm done. I'll call it a good stream. We've been on here for about an hour and 20 minutes, so that's all good to go. The golden car, golden bag, golden ball, golden putt. Call it whatever you want to call it. You know what I'm talking about. Hey, that's it. I hope everybody who celebrates Thanksgiving has an awesome Thanksgiving. I hope you're able to spend time with your friend, your family. Hope you're able to unwind, you know, not have to work and kind of get rid of some of the stresses. Hey, hey, Vincent, what's going on, my friend? Hey, Richard, how are you? Thanks for stopping in here. I'm just finishing up. I appreciate it. 
Um, but besides that, like I said, happy Thanksgiving to everybody who celebrates it. If you're watching this later on, please take a moment there to like the video. Give it a thumbs up. If you would like to give Ultimate Golf a try, I find the game very fun, very engaging, very fast-paced. In the description to this video is a personalized link to take you right to the App Store and download it. And that does help me out a little bit as you know we're trying to drive engagement for the game. That's it, everybody. You have a great night, and I appreciate you all stopping in and saying hi.